Hello, and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Christeter. And today I want to talk a little bit about Serum, which I know a lot of you guys out there really love and end up using quite a bit. But I want to talk specifically about how to build your own wavetables from scratch quickly and easily. And again, a lot of you guys know that you can build your own wavetables in Serum, but maybe have not dived into it too much because it seems really complicated. Uh, there's easy ways to do it, and that's what I want to focus on in this video. Before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. So we take a look at Serum here. Uh, you most likely know that if you click on this little pencil icon right here, it allows us to start editing our wavetable, which is pretty cool. And you can see we can like have a waveform here and we can start drawing in our own waveforms to start creating our own sound. We can do things like change the grid size here to change how this is affecting our sound. We can have different shapes that we can draw in. We can add little bits of noise to it. Uh, we can do this thing which mirrors it, which is really cool. And start building our own wavetables just by kind of drawing them in that way. We can also do a bunch of like additive synthesis style generation uh, by clicking in here. These will add in new harmonics, which will also affect our waveform. We can also get on here and we can just click on these guys and this will just put in the algorithm, the basically mathematical formula for a particular waveform. So if I click on this and I click like the uh, high pass filter square, here's like a high pass filter square. It just kind of puts it in there for you. So there's lots of ways to just kind of like play around uh, with kind of building and processing your own waveforms from scratch, which is really cool. Uh, and there's also ways to process it here, which are really handy. However, a single waveform does not make us a whole wave table. If we take a look at, say, most of the wavetables in Serum, if we go in here and like check out this guy, for example, if we take a look here, we can see that this is not just one waveform. This is 256, most of them are 256, some are less than that, uh, waveforms. So if we want to build our own wavetable from scratch, we don't need to build 256 individual waveforms. That's a lot of work. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go in here and we're going to hit this plus button down here. We can see we have the one we made right here. It's already there. We're going to hit this. Now we have two waveforms. And on the second one, we can start making this sound totally different. So we can, let's start drawing some stuff in here, see what happens. Want something that sounds pretty different than the one I already have. They sound pretty similar. Let's go in here and just play around with these guys a little bit. Cool. Good enough. And we'll add a little bit of noise to this one for fun. Cool. Uh, so I have two waveforms. And if I, once again, if I go back and check out my wavetable, it's just two of them. I can go back and forth between the two of them. But that doesn't get me this nice, smooth transition from one waveform to another. So I'm going to jump back in here. I'm going to select one of them, hold down shift, select the other one. So they're both selected. And we're going to go to morph, and we can either crossfade them, which sounds really cool. I like that. Or we can do a spectral morph, which I think sounds a little cooler. It gets a little bit more of like a smoother transition from one waveform to another. So I'm going to click on this, and there's other ways to do it here. But I'm going to try the spectral morph. And you can see now this one is number one. This one is 256. And it automatically generated the other 254 waveforms in between those two. So if we go back in here, we can see these. this is my entire wave table which includes all the different sounds from one to the other, which is pretty cool. So that's it. That's kind of the process here. Uh, make two waveforms, spectral morph between them, and all of a sudden you have your own wavetable that you built from scratch. Pretty cool. Uh, on top of that, if you want to do more than two, you're more than welcome to do that. You can have multiple waveforms in between, and it will morph from one to the next to the next. Let me go ahead and go in here and initialize the whole thing. So if you go to add, remove, initialize all, resets the entire thing. So say we want to start with a saw wave, make a new one over here. We'll make this one kind of weird. Cool. I'll make another one over here. It will start playing around with this and tweaking it. And maybe we'll mirror it a little bit. Cool. Those are our three waveforms. We're going to shift select all of them. We're going to morph here. And this time we'll do crossfade instead of spectral. They're both cool. They're slightly different, but they both will accomplish basically the same task. Now we have, once again, 256, but we have one in the middle here in between these two. So as we start morphing through our wavetable, you can see 
there's like a little green line here for that one, there's a green line here for that one, and there's a green line here for that one. So now as I move through them, once again, I just built my own wavetable from scratch, and it took me about two seconds to do it. So you can spend a lot of time in here really diving into all the features. There's a lot more features that I'm not going to get into in this video. Uh, but you can spend a lot of time customizing and building your own wavetables from scratch. And that way you can just start with your own sound from the very beginning, uh, as opposed to using either the built-in wavetables or by going out and downloading other people's wavetables. If you make one that's really cool and you want to send it to your friends, uh, you can just export it as a wavetable file, which is really sweet. So uh, a lot of cool features in here. Uh, you don't need to be an expert of synthesis and sound design to make your own wavetables. Simply build a couple of them and morph between them, and then you're good to go. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Hopefully that is useful for you. It is. If it is, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.